guys, <clears throat> Angie with Rags, Tags, and Confections, and thought I would bring a um, craft to you today. Um, it's kind of one of those my wonder moments uh, yesterday with some pieces I had laying on my desk and um, some coasters that I had seen <clears throat> on the shelf that we had bought a while back. And I thought I might be able to do something with them. Well, I finally did something with these. And these came as a four pack at Dollar General, so four for a dollar. And they're just regular old cork coasters. And I turned them into these cute little mitten ones for fall. So, just thought I would share with you guys how I went from this to this pretty easily I wouldn't say quickly because I did spend about roughly about 45 minutes um, on each one coloring them but that's something I don't mind doing that's relaxing for me so um, I'll show you guys how I did this so we're gonna need the coasters obviously some glue we can use glue stick glue pens liquid glue whatever you have for glue that suits you Some sand, a sand block, sand paper, emery board, something rough. <clears throat> Any kind of black ink that you prefer to use um, for coloring, I prefer to use one that it's going to stay put whether I get it wet um, or something that's going to dry quickly because of coloring and I just don't want a slopped up mess. I'm going to use a piece of Bristol board, stamp block and the Winter Wonderland, I'll try to get this in here for you guys, the Winter Wonderland stamp set from CreatedHomeWithG.com. Um, with his store going out of business, I'm not sure if he still has this one, but I will put the link to his store down below. Um, and feel free to uh, go check that out and see what sales he does have going on for his going out of business sale. I'm gonna lay that one aside. Now, I've already pulled out the little cup with the mittens and I'm just gonna use a regular stamp block you know I did put these in the stamp platform yesterday when I did them just so I could make sure I centered things up but you don't have to have that you don't even need a die for this all I did was lay the coaster down and you want to see one thing I am not good at it is tracing I cannot trace around things to save my behind. I end up with stuff going all kinds of wonky. I watch it, it'll make a fibra out of me today. Yep. I actually didn't go off. Imagine that. Well, at least I didn't embarrass myself on camera. But I was kind of expecting it, so. Alrighty. So now we're just going to cut out our circle here. And for anyone who attempted to watch that hideous spring bulb video, I sincerely apologize from the bottom of my heart. I must have copied the wrong music file. Other than that, I, I don't know what I did. But oh my gosh, I was so embarrassed when I went back to try to edit that out and seen what it was heard what it was like oh my goodness the guy could not thank Gareth enough for bringing that to my attention that was just horrendous oh my word so I'm gonna have to redo that because I could not figure out how to get that music file off of there and because of our laptop not having much memory, I have to erase things as I get them done and delete. And well, now I have to redo it. So there's our Bristol board. So throw those aside. Yeah, I feel pretty secure in just lining that up that way. And I know this is all but a brand new dew drop from Memento. I mean, you don't have to use black. You could, um, one thing I like to do 
one thing I really like to do when I'm coloring. I like to use the um, antique linen and stamp with that and then once you color over it well I don't know how I got that on there um, once you stamp with that and color it you don't have any of the black lines so that I, I really like using the antique linen to stamp with now that I will put in a stamp platform because it is distressing and sometimes it I mean it's supposed to not um, be a solid image and so I will put that in my stamp platform um, to get that crisp image that I'm looking for to be able to color. It does take me a little bit longer to do this with my hands because I don't have the strength in my hands that I used to. But there we go. Nice crisp image. Alright, now you can either, I'm going to leave that on there because I need to do one more, um, you can either color it at this point and then glue it down or you can go ahead and glue it down which is what I'm going to do for this one and I'm just going to use this Elmer's on here. <clears throat> Get my crap paper here. just want an even amount across it you know kind of glop it on there because you're sticking paper to, paper to paper now if you get a ceramic coaster you might definitely want to go with something stronger so I'm just going to glue that down and I didn't wait long enough for it to dry so I have some smudges there but the humidity out here is just insane and Apparently we're supposed to get even more rain after we finally had a dry day yesterday. We took advantage of that. And now apparently there's more heavy storms coming today. Like lovely. Our ground is already saturated. Thank heavens our sump pump has actually worked because there's friends of ours who have lost so much. It's it's sad. But God knows what he's doing and why he's doing it, so who are we to question? Alright, I just make sure that's pressed down there pretty good. Okay, now at this point I would go ahead and take this and color it. However, I did take the time to color one um, ahead of time here to put it on the last one. And then I'll color the other one here off camera. But for this one, I used my Prismacolor pencils for the gloves and the Arteza Real Brush markers for the cup and the outside. Butter, come here, please. Sorry, guys. You know, it wouldn't be a video here if we didn't have dogs barking because the girls can't keep their noses in their face. And why didn't I? Ay, 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 ay. I've only gotten through that much coffee so far so yeah it, it's not a I'm not awake yet we'll leave it at that <laughs> all right now I think whoa get on there there we go I just don't like having all that sticky on my mat Alright, so now we're going to glue our image down again. And you can color these with whatever method you're comfortable with or your preferred method of coloring is. I've done some with Copics. I've done many with my Prismacolors. Um, I haven't done any with the Luminance pencils yet. It's all basically the same thing, just a wax-based pencil or watercolor marker, alcohol marker, just whatever you choose. Okay, now you can see we still have this little bit of a lip here. That is where these are going to come in. So you can either use an emery board, 
sandpaper, sanding block, they're all going to work the same. You can see that it just one swipe and it's going to start taking that color off. Even if you use an emery board and you can get packs of these at the dollar store, Dollar Tree. Humongous pack of them for a dollar. So I mean, if you go through them, then you just throw them out and pull out a new one. I know they also sell sandpaper there. I'm not sure if they're carrying the sanding blocks yet or not. So don't go back and forth. Don't do, don't like you're filing your nails. Don't back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. No, down. Keep your papers going out and over pull down away from you and what that's gonna do you can see it's starting to peel that off just right over that edge and you can see it's starting to lift that off like that that's what you want and then it's gonna give you that nice clean edge so once you get that nice clean edge if you want to stop there, that's fine. What I did with the other ones, um, I went in with some vintage photo and went straight to the coaster. Now, if your or your ink's brand new, I don't know that I would want to do this, but these need re-ink, so I'm not going to be too fussy about it. I also went around the edge here and gave it just a little bit of color. And it's not perfect, which is fine because this set I didn't want to be perfect. I wanted this set to be more homey looking, more rustic. I like the more muted look. This is a little bright for my taste, but I wanted something that could go from like fall into winter, <clears throat> not just something seasonal per se. So once we get to this point, then after we sand that all down, cover our edges, then you can just seal this, whatever choice of sealer you have. If you have Mod Podge, use Mod Podge. If you have ultra thick embossing powder, you could melt that on there. Um, there's triple thick from, I think it's no, I don't think it's Krylon that has the triple thick. Hmm. Rocking my brain, guys. Any kind of sealer that you want to put on here that you have um, would be fine. It's just some may hold up better than others. But if you're only going to use them for a season, you know, whatever. So they're for 25 cents per coaster. Get yourself a cute little cute little coaster and you could put any kind of stamped image here in the middle for any season. I mean you could turn these into something for summer. Um, so sky's the limit on there. Make a little box and give them as a gift. Well, hopefully that uh, gave you guys some ideas to do with some coasters. Taking a plain old coaster and turn it into something cute. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and take care, and thank you for spending time with us. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button down below, and we will talk to you all soon. Bye, guys.